prom season, baby. Ew. The story, the story, yeah. Yeah, for sure, let's just get right into it because honestly, I don't like talking about high school. I just look back and like, I feel so different and like, I don't know, like I just like don't like who I was then. And everyone's like sitting at home like, we didn't either. <laughs> let's just freaking get it going, guys. You wanna know my prom story, don't you? No. <sighs> dig, 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 dig deep for this one, kids. I honestly try to block out like absolutely any high school memory that I have. Like I'm just like, yo, high school. People who are like, mm, high school is the best four years of my life. Like I cannot relate to that. Like I cannot relate. Like be relating absolutely none ever whatsoever. Bye. Let's start off with my high school. My VP. He wasn't even my VP, okay? I don't know why he was always in everyone's bullshit. Wait, that's annoying. But like <laughs> He was. He was always, 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 always in everyone's shit, on everyone's Twitter, seeing what was going on. Like, dude, like, get a life. Like, you know what I mean? Like, get a life. <sighs> Getting hot under there. <sighs> I was always in the office for, like, just stupid little things. And honestly, some of them, like, I look back, I feel actually really bad for. Some things I look back for and I'm like, oh... Why did I do that? Like, I'm so sorry, but like, I... Okay, I don't want to talk about this. Like, I honestly do not. Let's just move on. My prom date. Yeah, uh, my prom date? Mm. Okay, one second. I just honestly want to hide for this whole video. Like, I'm not here for it. My prom date! Mm. Yeah. Uh... He's... Interesting. <laughs> this kid, he full on forgets the corsages. And he lives so far away from me. Like literally so far. So we had to go back to his house again to pick up the corsages. We're so late to the prom pictures, like an hour late. So like it already was not off to like a good start. Like he honestly did not seem like he cared about it whatsoever. And like that was super shitty because he didn't even go to my school. So it's not like it was like his prom too. Like bitch, this was my fucking prom. I don't even care if you're watching this. Like you i'm still mad about all this like i actually am no i'm not i'm not but like back on to my date my date yeah um he did not know how to like handle a lot of things including our relationship and definitely not marijuana so i'm like yo dude do not do freaking not oh not what you're doing yeah that uh marijuana don't do it first thing he does when we get to the pre-prom is smoke. So guess who's incredibly high greening out my whole prom? <laughs> um. My day. Thank you. So we're on the bus and this kid is tripping freaking balls. He doesn't even know how to say his own name. Everyone is staring at me like, dude, if we don't get in, it's because of you and your stupid ass Date. And I knew that was gonna happen. That's why I said, hey, this is my prom. Do whatever you want at yours. But like, hey, don't do that here. <sighs> I was so mad. Vice principal, Mr. Bay Taylor, comes onto the party bus and he's just like, oh, you guys aren't getting in. And we're all like, <laughs> Like what? Thinking he's kidding, he's like, It smells like a distillery in here. You guys really think that you guys can come into the prom? You're not getting in. Look at all of you are chewing gum. You guys were definitely drinking. Dude, it's prom. Grade 12 prom. Like I can guarantee you that every single person in there had at least one drink but like no of course our bus with the kids that you full-on hate don't get into prom right like so typical but like yeah yeah yeah, yeah makes sense makes sense we're not gonna get in but everyone else is gonna get in but we're not gonna get in but everyone else is yeah 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 yeah, yeah. no yeah for sure for sure yeah, yeah yeah makes sense makes sense yeah fuck you mr taylor everyone turns to their parents being like oh da -da -da -da, they're not letting us in they're all like calling the school being like bro 
you better let these kids back in because like we're gonna go to the media and stuff they call us like an hour later being like oh hey you guys can come back like you can come back it's fine everyone's already eaten now the food's probably cold like why would why would we go back at that point like you know what i mean like we were already there you said no like why would we go there for like x amount of time like the prom is pretty much done like why would we go back just because now you're getting in it. Oh man. Back to my date who's tripping out this whole experience. So we go back to the same girl's house who had the pre-prom. My date uh, ends up puking everywhere so she rightly so was like, yo he needs to leave and I'm like yeah. So I'm like really upset because now not only did I not get into prom but my date is greeting out and he's getting kicked out of the after prom, which wasn't even really an after prom. It was just like a bonfire, which was fun, I guess, kind of, but like not really because we didn't get into prom. So I was just upset the whole time. Keep in mind, like how much money is spent on a prom, like a dress and your makeup and your hair. As a grown ass man, turn away a bunch of like 18 year old girls being like, you're not getting your prom. Like you're actually an asshole. I would call this dude out every single time I was in the office, like every single time, like I don't care, like he was actually such a prick and I f***ing hated him. So I'm super upset. And then I have one of my close friends coming up to me being like, a bunch of the other girls on like our party bus were like talking about you and how you're so upset and like how it's so pathetic that you're crying. Like that was my high school experience in a nutshell. Like you're really gonna like go behind my back. These girls that are supposed to be my friends talking shit about me because I'm upset. And it's like, that's how you know you're hanging out with the wrong group. The next day, me and my homie, meaning me and my mom, go into the office being like, Bro, like, you better post up because, listen, what you did was really fucked up. And they were trying to say that we weren't going to get a refund. Like, they're not refunding our tickets. Like, pretty much it's on you. Like, fuck you. And I was absolutely losing my shit. Like, <laughs> I remember being in the office. <laughs> which wasn't a rare occurrence. I was swearing and everything. I was like, fuck you, Mr. Taylor. Like, I know you just did that because you were a loser in high school and you resent us all. Like, you're such a fucking loser. My mom's like even sitting like right beside me and she's just like, you like, yeah, that's right. You such a fucking prick. And then I have the actual principal in the room with me while I'm like tweaking out and it's a girl. I don't even remember her name. That's how irrelevant she is. Like, I actually don't remember what her name is. And she's like bawling her eyes out as I'm like <laughs> screaming at Mr. Taylor. And then I turn to her and I'm like, and you, you think your tears are gonna bring back my prom? No, like I'm never gonna get a prom. They ended up refunding everyone, but like I never got a prom. That's a really big deal to like a lot of girls, like looking forward to prom and like, I don't know, it's not like come from the wealthiest family. like prom was like a really big deal and like that was like a lot of money for me and like you just turn that away because of what like it smelt like booze <laughs> what can you do <clears throat> nothing that's life <laughs> that was the time i didn't get into prom so like and subscribe and feel bad for me bye <laughs>